Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Standing. My name is Beth and I am here today with a quick Friday Reads update. Um, I'm probably not going to get much read today except for in my audiobook, which is Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia. I'm super into it. Um, I listened to most of it on the way down here because I am currently in Texas, but we are leaving today to go back up to our house in Oklahoma, and it's a four-hour drive, so I'm probably going to either be listening to that or to the next few A to Z mystery books, depending on whether or not Short Stack over there goes to sleep. She says she's going to nap in the car, but for some reason I doubt that. I do have some other books to talk to you about that I'm going to be dipping in and out of this weekend. The first one is the book that I'm definitely finishing. I've been talking about finishing it for two weeks and I've been so busy I haven't gotten the chance yet. That is The Secrets of Gaslight Lane by MRC Cassassian. It's book four in the Gower Street Detective series. I'm not going to say anything else about it because I've said everything I can say to you guys about this book in previous videos. But I'm super close to the end and will be finishing that this evening. I have started Strange the Dreamer. I've just read the prologue, but I wanted to make sure I had at least a chapter done in each of the books I'm talking to you guys about. So I sat down and read the prologue. I'm so interested in continuing on. This is a book that you guys have been talking about for a really long time. And I finally got my hands on it. I'm waiting on the audiobook because... Like I said, I've been super busy and driving back and forth to basketball games, to school, to Texas. I really enjoy having audiobooks. It helps me get through the big books a lot faster. So there is that. I'm also reading Thomas Wildes and the Book of Sorrows. I started this last week and I really thought I'd be further along by now. But again, I've been super busy in trying to finish um, the Gower Street book, but I am six chapters into Thomas Wildes and really enjoying it. This is by J.M. Bergen. I'm super enjoying it, and I'm really glad he sent me that for review. I'm hoping to finish it this weekend so I can get that review up for him. And then another book I got fit for review and is a lot shorter than the rest, so hopefully I can finish it quickly, is Emilio Asilio's The Webpage Chronicles. Now, I've only read the first chapter but I am going to go ahead and tell you that the main character of this page, she is 12 and she's like a computer genius, which is awesome. I'm so glad that we have a book and hopefully a series because I think this is book one in the webpage chronicles um, about a girl who is tech savvy and helps her friends. And it's just so great. However, this is a less than 200 page book and the first chapter was 24 pages long and uh, he's written some adult short stories and a nonfiction book. So I think maybe he's just not used to writing for younger readers because it's a really long chapter and the details are very dense. I'm hoping maybe it settles down through the rest of the book because I'm super excited for the story and I'm interested. I just feel like maybe actual 12 year olds would quit pretty quickly um, and not try to get through the rest. So we will see what I think, but I am super excited to continue on and uh, find out what happens because apparently something happens online and Paige has to help her friends. And then the book that Elena and I are reading in physical form is Kylie Jean, Art Queen. I don't know if I've told you this about my child, but she loves art. And for a six-year-old, she's pretty good at it. And um, so she loves Kylie Jean books as well. And we had never read Art Queen. I found it for sale on Amazon, picked it up. I had intended for it to be a Christmas present, but she saw the package. So we are reading it early. We're only on chapter three, I think, but we are very excited to continue on because Kylie Jean is in an art contest to see who gets to have their picture as a mural up in the school. So I'm betting Kylie Jean gets to do part of it. But we love those books. 
They're awesome books, and I'm looking forward to reading more and letting you know what we thought about it. So those are all the books that I'm going to be working on this weekend. I have several more books that I finished over the last week that I'll be talking to you guys about soon. So look forward to that video. Hope you had a fabulous Thanksgiving if you celebrated Thanksgiving. If not, I hope you just had a fabulous week. And I hope everybody has an amazing weekend. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Thank you.